all right guys welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back update and information as it is hot uh, many people has been kicking against uh, Mazi Simon Epa recently because of the sit at home order uh, that has been ongoing but now Simon Epa has sent a shocking message uh, to the public <laughs> I don't read do uh, if you hear me say you don't read, just no say uh, you don't read. Uh, Epa, the Finland-based lawyer and Prime Minister of the Biafra government in exile, disclosed this Monday that Biafra agitation and separatist Simon Eba has revealed the only way to sit at home will be stopped in the southeast. Uh, he said that there is only one way uh, that this sit at home that is ongoing will be stopped in the southeastern part of Nigeria. According to him, only the release of Maz Namdekanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, will stop sit at home order in the southeast. Of course, you know that Maz Simon Epa is a, a Finland based lawyer, is also the current prime minister of the Biafra uh, government in exile. He disclosed this on Monday, yesterday, uh, that the sit at home started. His reaction comes in response to the national president of Ohaneze Youth, Mazi Oku Nabike's statement on Kano's release and sit at home order. According to him, the only thing that can stop the civic action of sit at home in the southeast region is the release of Nam de Kano. A historic sit at home has kicked off today. Nothing, nothing can stop it unless Nam de Kano is released today. He stated that Ohaneze failed to achieve significant influence on the 2023 presidential election, which saw the emergence of Bola Ahmed Tinubu as president. He added that Ndibo should not support leaders who cannot speak truth to power. Ohaneze bragged that if Igbo didn't get the presidential ticket from APC or PDP, Nigeria would break up and that voting Tinubu would bring war. But today, the Ohaneze are calling on Ndibo to support Tinubu, people that act like that have lost the morality to speak for the interest of Ndibo, leader who changed their principles according to who they meet are not worthy of being called leaders, he wrote. This one is coming from Mazi Simon Eba. Eba has also kicked against um what Ndibo uh, 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 are doing the Ohanes Ndibo because recently the Ohanes Ndibo, the youth uh, wing of Ohanes Ndibo, kicked against the sit at home order that uh, Mazi Simon Eba has given. But one surprising thing about this kicking and the sit at home and the rest of it is that. Uh, after all these things, you will still find out that um this uh, this um people will still obey the sit at home without even looking back. Now our correspondents has gone out to the street to see what is actually happening. You found that the, the streets are under lock and key. Uh, the students are not going to school. Businesses are not moving well. The streets are deserted. Meanwhile, I move from that news and I enter to this young girl. That has been trending since yesterday. Uh, who got the highest, one of the highest score in jump in Anambra State? But all of a sudden, the the jump officials came out uh, to say that the little girl forged her result. But meanwhile, while looking at this little girl's picture, you found that this girl looks very innocent. And I heard also that she came from a poor family, and she has also, you know, come out to speak openly that she is not capable of such action that the jump are accusing her of now her name is um the, the father has also come out to speak of course the the girl's name is um uh, the father said that his daughter is innocent that jump uh the score that her daughter has is from jump and she she even showed the sms that she she received from jam so even if uh, she was able to manipulate the result to print it i don't think she will be able to also manipulate jam portal system to be able to send a message to her now her school has also confirmed that right from nursery school that this little girl has been taking first position now let's hear what her father has to say 
Mr. Romanus Ejikeme, the father of Ejikeme Mesoma, who was accused by the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board, JAMB, of manipulating her unif unified tertiary matriculation examination result, has defended his daughter, stating that she is innocent of the allegation. The founder of Innocent Motors, Innocent Chukwoma, who had offered Mesoma a 3 million scholarship, had, has also called for a probe into the matter. Jam had accused Mesoma of manually inflating her UTME score from 249 to 362, thereby claiming to be the top scorer for the UTME. The board stated that Mesoma would have would have her result withdrawn and would be prosecuted for her actions. However, Mr. Ejikeme disputed Jam's claim asserting that his daughter is incapable of manipulating her result. He explained that Mesoma printed her result in the same manner as others and that she was not aware of any manipulation. He further mentioned that they had presented the result to the Commissioner of Education Office where Mesoma was briefly arrested by the Department of State Service for interrogation before being released. Mesoma in a video expressed her distress and denied forging her result, stating that she is not capable of such an act. The principal of Anglican Girls Secondary School, Newi, Miss Edum Uche, also defended Mesoma, stating that she downloaded her result like everyone else and saw the score of 362. She added that they discovered the discrepancy when another candidate was declared as the overall best scorer, prompting them to present Mesoma's result to the Commissioner for Education. Mrs. Uche expressed surprise and disappointment at the way Jamp handled the situation and urged for a thorough investigation. The Anambra State Commissioner for Education, Professor Ngoji Choma Ude, confirmed that the state was about to honor Mesoma before Jamp disowned her and called the DSS. She explained that upon further investigation, it was discovered that Mesoma's claim was false and another candidate in Kechinere Ume, who scored 360, as declared by Jamb, was honored instead. The commissioner expressed regret over the embarrassing situation, particularly as the state government is focused on improving education in the state. The matter is currently under investigation by security agents. I think um, these people need to look uh, deep into this matter in order not to uh, kill this girl's self-esteem and also her image uh, because of course you know that we are in Nigeria. It is in this same Nigeria that a snake went into jam office and swallowed money. You know, this same Nigeria that snake swallowed about millions of naira in jam. It is in this same Nigeria that monkey carried away money. It is also in this same Nigeria that uh, uh, money got burnt. It is also in this same Nigeria that millions stacked in, in an office in Abuja disappeared and nobody, they said that spirit took the money. So many things happens in Nigeria. So I think it's high time they probe this matter very well. Uh, because looking at this young girl, uh, I don't think she is capable of doing such an act because she is still very little and small. Uh, somebody who has gotten 200 and something uh, will still also use it to get admission in any school of her choice. So I don't see any reason of manipulating her result. And um, and uh, as you can see, the school is also supporting this girl to show that this girl is innocent. So I think um, the problem might be from Jamb. Because now for Jamb, where snake they swallow money. If money snake can swallow money in Jamb office, it means that anything is capable of happening in Jamb office. Then I think also... Uh, I think also that Jamb also should look into this thing. Let also the girl that they have given the hair scholar, let them look at her background and know whether she's coming from a rich family because <laughs> it might be that the parents went and do Connie Connie. I'm just saying my own as a man who has open heart to the things that is happening uh, to our nation uh, because uh, jump fit they, 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 they do anything there anything is capable of happening in that jam office to be honest with you because it has happened before we witnessed snake swallowing money 
So this might be another thing again. And again, meanwhile, I'll be winding down the curtain here. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news enter, you'll be the first to collect it. Thank you for listening. God bless you.